I wanted to explain how rail electrification insulators work and what they're for. If you've not seen the first video in this series explaining the cantilever you can see in the background and an overview of the system, I'll put a link to the video below. But yeah, insulators essentially keep the live side, so the things you want above track, uh, live and keep them separate from the things you don't want live, like structures, foundations and people on the platform. Uh, completely separate a very wildly in size so this is this is a fairly big one for rail electrification at 25 obviously in high voltage distribution they get a lot bigger and they kind of go down quite quickly in size here so yeah why are they the shape they are well modern insulators um, a glass fiber with a silicon outer on them with sheds that are flexible so these are really reliable insulators old insulators used to be ceramic or glass but yeah essentially they have sheds uh, for two reasons one to stop water traveling from one side to the other and creating a path for electricity but also this increases the distance electricity has to travel before it gets to the earth side so this insulator here is for 25 kV it's pretty big because this would be the only insulator on a cantilever normal cantilevers have two as you can see in the background there uh, but the cantilever this is used in only has uh, one insulator so it needs to support twice the load this is a more typical 25,000 volt insulator it's it's perfectly liftable by me um, so it's as long but it's definitely not as beefy we then go down to DC insulators. So this is a 3000 volt insulator and you start to get a lot smaller. And we also have got some 1500 volt uh, DC insulators. We've got a special insulator here for return conductor. So we're not so concerned there about making things live. So this is one of the auxiliary wires that go on the side of the mast. So not carrying the 25,000 volts. Um, and also for under things like under bridges, we have special insulators that we don't have to worry about rain running down, but we don't have much space for all those sheds. So we just make a very long insulator. So they can go from, yeah, this very small size or all the way up to this, uh, yeah, big beefy one. 